Good morning guys and welcome back to another episode on Don Voyage and for this video we're going to talk about the SART so if you're interested to learn what this equipment is let's go so this is our SART we have two pieces on board one is here on, on our port side of our bridge and the other one is on the lifeboat I'm going to take it just have to open and for our ship we have a McMurdo smart find s5 aas site okay so this is the new kind of site so let's take out this baby no? so we can test it Okay, so this is the rod where we're going to telescopic to ah. so para siyang payong no? and then it's going to be extended and and yung instructions niya telescopic and on top you're going to put our sart no? to get the optimal range let's take this one also right so this is our sart alright so hello again and we have now successfully taken out from its box this SART okay so what does SART stand for SART stands for the search and the rescue radar transponder okay so again we have here the GMDSS manual uh, because everything with regards to GMDSS is here um, there's nothing much special with regards to our SART okay but you can see here that um, the introduction of AIS SART was in 2010. So the difference between an AIS SART which we have here and the normal SART which we used to have before is that uh, the normal SART works on a 9 gigahertz um, frequency which interacts with our X-band radars. So that was before. Now with the introduction of the AIS SART we are we are now using the frequency of the AS and the frequency of the AS is working on the VHF. If you have the normal SART on board your ship, so once you see these blips, it means that the one holding the SART is towards this direction. Once you go nearer to that position of the SART, these blips will suddenly turn into semicircles and when you go to the approximate position of the SART those semicircles will turn into circles around the vessel so that is the SART working on the 9 GHz but nowadays we have an AAS SART this works on the VHF band and will be seen not only on our radars but also on our electronic charts okay so if you remember on our EPIRB the manufacturer there uh, recommends to do the self-test every one month okay every month but for our SART it's a different story according to the McMurdo manufacturer it's recommended that we do the physical check and the self-test once every six months because doing it very often would result to a drainage of the battery and, and according to our McMurdo it is um, compliant to our regulations because in here it is stated that our SART is, has an operating life of uh, 96 hours minimum. Of course, if you have more than 96 hours on our SART, that would be very nice. So we have here the manual, but also in our SART, we have here instructions on the equipment itself. So if you are in the distress, this is what you will do. So first, you have to break the protection cover, which is this red one. Okay, so once you take this out, you're going to break the cover. Okay, and we'll expose the button. And once you break the cover, press the on button and install one meter above sea level. Because the higher the storage position and then the greater the range of our SART. So you press that button inside. So that is for activating our SART. But for our test, we just have to press this button for at least 3 seconds. According to our manual we will go to item number six maintenance and here we have the self-test and inspection okay so again every six months so first we have to hold the test button over three seconds so it's this one 
three seconds and then the indicator will flash green or orange LED okay so what does the indicator mean so this is our indicator this LED over here so if it flashes green then the AS heart is under testing without over usage warning if it's orange then the SART is under testing with over usage warning if it's one long green then the AS heart is complete transmission and the light off after long green color flash automatically so it means that if it's green green flash then it's okay if it's orange then there's something wrong with our AS SART already okay it means that either the battery is already finished or it already been tested more than 100 times or it's been activated before so we will see what kind of flash we will receive from this AAS art we will check on our electronic charts and on our radar all right let's go so first of all um, since we are going to use an AIS art and this will be transmitting um, information on the VHF band through the AES and mind you it's not only our vessel who will be seeing the signal coming from our AES art all the other vessels around and also the rescue coordination centers near you will be seeing your self-test okay so it would be good idea if we um, first broadcast on our AES a message saying that we are going to test our AES so let's try doing it so we're going to broadcast this means that this is to all the ships around and also to all the AAS receiving stations around including the local RCCs no? or the local authorities around okay so let's just type in so this is ready for sending so once they see this, they will know that I am just testing my AS side. Okay, so this is on our AS. Okay, so now we can send this. Okay, so let's check. There we go. So let's read. So AS start testing MV Marin. Thanks and good watch. Okay, so that's how we will do it. So now let's go back to our site okay so now we will test our start and we will see how it will look like on our like this and our radar screens okay so let's hold this test button for at least three seconds okay you saw that there was a green flash and now this is under test so it's green I mean it's okay so we will leave this outside so there will be a good signal and then we will see yeah. we will see how it looks like okay so one long flash it means that the test is okay so let's go check on the screen how it looks like So you see this, there is a circle on our ship's position, so a while ago there was no circle, there was just the AES symbol for our ship. So let's check on our ECDIS, there we go. So you see that, so after the test, we see that there is an AIS SART test in blue, this is on our electronic charts. So it means that uh, our AAS art successfully transmitted a signal through the VHF band on our AAS. Okay, so it's there over here. Okay, okay it's gone. So the circle is gone and it's back to normal. Let's check on the electronic chart on our chart table. There, you can also see it here. So, not only is our AAS chart working on the radars, it is also clearly working on our electronic charts. So, that is the new chart we have now. In contrary to the old style on the 9 gigahertz X band radar, which works on blips.
so this is now the AS SART that we have so, so that concludes our video on SART I hope you guys learned something today so if you guys are interested in my videos please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so wishing you all fair winds and following seas Don't voyage!